I'll ring the bell. Good, Ollie. Welcome back everybody. Um, so before we get into like learning this week's lesson, just wanted to talk about my house a little bit. I have an amazing, really renovated house, uh, beautiful wallpaper, beautiful furnishings, and then I have a box. And uh, that box will remain there. It is the only way I can get Ollie to sit next to me. Um, yeah, we do have fun doing training and all of that stuff. He's just not much of a cuddler, but I, I kind of wish he would cuddle. Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Um, so today we are going to learn how to ring the bell. Um, I tried initially to use one of the, um, the, the silver ones, the, the old school ones, but the, the tip on it was really difficult to use. Um, Ollie's paw actually kept getting stuck in, in like inside of it. So it was really, really bad. Um, I was able to find this on Amazon. I have the link below. Uh, this one just worked out much better and way easier to, to teach Ollie how to ring the bell. So remember last week when uh, we started learning target training, the reason why I taught it last week was because we needed him to understand that he's got to touch the tip of something. Um, and again, if you missed that episode, then I do recommend you go back to last week's episode. Um, also, one of the previous uh, lessons that we learned was to how to do the high five and also sit. So we're going to be combining those three lessons into one in order to learn how to ring the bell. You want to do some training? I'll sit. All right, so the very first part of this lesson um, is just going to be to have him at first look at the bell. So that would be step number one. Um, so he's already looking at it, which is a good thing, but I'm going to place it down and I uh, just want him to look at it. <laughs> that was good, but I know you got to let me. All right, so the very first thing is to have him look at it and you can see he's already looking at it. Um, step number two is going to be to actually just use your, uh, your treat or your cookie or your food, whatever it is that you're using, uh, to train with and just rub it on there just like we did with, um, just like we did with target training. You can see he's very, very hungry. So very, very eager. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set this down. Now, if your cat goes over to just smell it, um, I want you to give it a click and a treat and then we'll move on from there. Ring the bell. Now you can see Ollie's already done this a few times, so he's pretty familiar with this one <laughs> and he really enjoys this one. Um, this is actually the easiest of all of them. So whenever we start a lesson, you want to have your cat sit. <laughs> and if your cat doesn't initially um, ring the bell, go back to the lesson where we learned high five and then essentially you're going to be doing it the same way because you want him to reach up to touch it, or in this case, smell it. You can also show him how to use it, um, but this one is actually really, really easy to, to teach. So my recommendation is just to show him. So it might be first you're going to have him just look at it. You would click and then treat. The second step is if he smells it, you're going to click, then treat. And then if he's still having difficulty, you can even place his paw on it, ring the bell, and then click and treat. And after a few times of doing that, he should start to get the point. If you have any problems, uh, certainly let me know what the issues are and we can come up with a solution. 
anyway, that's uh, that's how you ring the bell.